sound. Hopefully you can hear us. Yep, people saying yes, that's always a good start. <laughs> well, not like last time when you left yourself muted. It was an accident. <laughs> um, I must admit, I don't know if we can hear you though, Owen. So I don't know if you've said something and we've can't hear you or not. Um, can you hear me now? No, we can hear you perfectly. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Must admit, we did a mess around with some settings, so we weren't quite sure if we had the sound working on our end. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Are you all ready, Liz? Yeah. Cool. Shall we start? Okay. Right. Well, welcome everyone. Welcome to uh, Kids Coding Club 2.0. Technically, this is our second running of uh, doing coding club. Um, so welcome back if you joined us in the first session last year. And, and can you stop pushing me? Sorry, I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, welcome back if you were in the first last lot, and welcome new people as well. Um, thank you, Tiki. Cool. So today this is the intermediate session. Uh, so I don't we're going to. what that means. So you know how there's beginner session, yeah. intermediate and advanced, with the middle one. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, so this one here today, we're going to be working on focus on the prize, aren't we? I'll try and focus. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> cool. Just before we get going, um, and if I click the right tabs, because there's just too many tabs in this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. there's some, somebody's definitely went to a lot of trouble with these animations. So yeah, so just a quick thing about us. Um, Myself and Owen work for Redgate, and we're doing this as part of our 10% time. And this mm -hmm. is also in collaboration with Code Club. Um, and we'll be using their resources today. And so, yeah, today we're doing Focus on the Prize Game. And I will be pasting that link in a minute. So don't worry about trying to copy that off your screens, iPads, whatever you're using. How do we switch slides? Um, I think it's set automatically just change slides. Oh, okay. I, I didn't do that. I, I'm using someone else's thing here. <laughs> the power of reuse. Wow, copier. Yeah. Thanks, Cheeky. Right. So let's begin. Shall we send the link to everyone? Oh, are we, is that still going in the background? Yeah. This is why you should play slideshow beforehand. Oh, yes. Yeah. So probably most importantly, if you haven't used Scratch in a while, right, you'll need to create yourself a Scratch account. Um, so you can help it. <laughs> yeah, and then you can help it. It's just like having an idea of a tiny mouse inside a big mouse sounds good. <laughs> Very good. Right, so can we send everyone the link? Sure. Right, let's find this link, which is... Right. Do, 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 do. Ah, right. Ah. You know what, I had all those links already and we still didn't... Right, so let's do the first one. Let's send the link to everyone so they can follow along with the tutorial if they wish to, but we'll be showing that on the screen, so don't panic if you don't... can't get that up. But more importantly, we want to send you this link. So like, like last time you sent the wrong link. Yeah, well I made sure I copy the right link this time. So yeah, yeah so yeah. the link you want to be using is this one here, which is rpf.io slash scratch hyphen new. And that will give you a brand new scratch project with nothing started. Which when we click it here, hopefully you can see. Oh come on, is it? There you go, creating a new project. <laughs> Cool, so we'll give everyone a bit of time to get that going. And I will get that closed out of the way. So, I know, we'll show if you want a sec. But we're waiting for that to load up for everyone else. You can't understand English, can you? <laughs> Cheeky. Right, so Olivia and I were practicing earlier. Olivia will be running the session, so. I'm the boss. <laughs> yes, she's the boss. <laughs> um, I'll be answering questions as will Owen in the background. So if you do get stuck, give us a shout. We'll try and help you out. Um, so yeah, I will be interrupting occasionally if people have questions. So do you want to show off what you did beforehand? Sure, where's the tab? Uh, it's the top one there. So this is one Olivia made, do you want to explain it or shall I explain it? You explain it. Okay, so this is the, um, the game. Yeah. Basically you're going to have three uh, gift boxes on the screen and one of them is going to have a crystal hidden underneath and you've got to basically click the right one after they all mix themselves up. So do you want to run it and show everyone? Sure. So Chris on the far left. Random dragon flying through to uh, distract you. Yeah. I'll admit, I have no idea which one's in now. I've lost track. I wasn't watching that in the first place. Oh, okay. Next to us. Um, cool. So one okay. of these three boxes. So <laughs> click on this one. If you click on the wrong one, it says no. Click on this one. It says yes if there's a crystal and a well. Cool. Only one box has crystals. 
Mm. So nice, nice little game and a nice one to get ourselves started with today, yeah? Shall we get going? Cool. Sure. <laughs> right, shall I just minimise your way for the moment and keep that so we don't get distracted? Sure. Uh, someone's asking if we get our mic up. Unfortunately, are we that quiet? Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look. Because unfortunately, we're using the mic on our camera up there so that both of us can be heard. Uh, so, yeah, we might be a little bit quieter than most people might be used to. So, do apologize. Then just shout, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> right, doesn't look like I can easily turn up, I'm afraid. So, do apologize in advance. We'll try and talk a bit louder, won't we? So, I hope that's an improvement for you. <laughs> Let's minimise our one a little bit so we can actually see what we're doing as well. And again, you block my face with all the messages. Oop, get that out of the way. Ah, no PowerPoint. Right, stop. Bad PowerPoint, yeah. bad. Yeah, end show. Get out of the way, PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, I am in control of the mouse. You are in control of yeah, the Yeah, that's keyboard. fine. I'm just getting instructions up so I can I can help you in the background. You're the keyboard. Okay, okay. right. Okay, so hopefully in that time that we've been uh, showing off and all that, you've got yourselves loaded up on the project. If anyone has just joined us midway through, I will just repaste the link again, just so you've all got it visible and available to you. Sorry, but I have to move the chat again. That's fine. Thank you for blocking my face on oh. my screen. <laughs> okay, right, so starting up. So we've got a brand new project and we've got Scratch Cat. Yeah. So what do I want to do first? Delete him. <laughs> So yeah, so first off, we want to get rid of the Scratch Cat, because we don't need Scratch Cat for this one. Dolly! <laughs> so yeah, as you saw Olivia just do there, if you go over where it says Sprite 1, there's a little bin, and just click on that, and Sprite, and Scratch Cat is gone. Dolly! <laughs> do worry about you. Right, so let's get going. What do we need first, Livs? Dolly! <laughs> okay, first we need to... Get, get a new character. Okay, so what character do you think we need on this? Thing. We need a gift box. So <laughs> if we go to the bottom right, there's a little cat. Don't do too fast, remember? So you've got a little thing that says okay. choose a sprite. Okay. And on there, we want to click the little search, which is the little magnifying glass above it. Yeah. Yep, click that. Click on that. Yep, and then we want to search. And you can use any animate, uh, any icon you want. We're going to use the gift one. Don't shout. Oh, no, I'm going to make sure it's loud enough they can hear us. Are you shouting, you... On my, uh, <laughs> shouting in my ears? Well, that's why I'm talking that way. <laughs> it's, it's so they can hear us. And then... So gift. Uh, yeah, you need to search gift, not like guitar. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. Mm -hmm. Right, so we want gift, don't we? Yep. Cool. So we've got the gift. Whee! Whee! Okay, right. <laughs> so first off, we've got a gift, but it's a little bit small, isn't it? Mm, yeah. So should we make sure. it a little bit bigger? So do you remember how to change the size of a gift? It's right there. Yeah. So yeah. In yeah, the, you're, in, you're in control. Okay. So when the properties down here, just click in here. It's called size, if you're yeah. wondering. Yeah. And we we'll want to change it. Because you're saying properties and it's my size. Well, it is. That's what it's called. It's properties of the stripe. So but we, it's size on there, so it doesn't yes. confuse anyone. Yeah. So we're gonna change this to 150. So you see, it gets a bit bigger. Matt boy boy. Wee. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what do you do next, Liv? Okay, so now uh, we go to costumes, which is like the little icon with the pink brush with costumes right next to it. You press that and this opens up. Uh, you can use whatever costume you want. You can use this one, which is this one, or this one, which I'm gonna use. Okay, cool, right. But besides that, we also need to add in a crystal, don't we? Yeah. So. Do you remember how to do that? Yeah. So, um... Make sure you talk a little bit louder. Why didn't you talk there? <laughs> um... <clears throat> right, so if we hit the little cat down the bottom left here, don't we? Yeah, with the plus. Yeah. Like, with no eyes. Uh, All right, so nightmare. choose a costume. Yep. Here. Yep. And we're going to put a crystal in. Again, you can put something else in here if you like want it to be... Like or a person? Yeah. So, shall we go type in the search? We'll type in crystal. Yeah. So, which crystal are we using? Uh, we're gonna use the purple one. You can use whatever one you want. Want though. Um. So we're gonna use the purple one. It's shiny. 
Okay, so do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, I need to see the next bit of instructions. Oh, okay. I can memorize some of this. I can't memorize all of it. I can't. Hmm. I can cut them. Okay, so at the moment we want it so that when you start the game that you see the box, don't we? Then show the crystal and then go back to the box, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So. I need to go back to code. And. Oh, we need to go to the yellow one, not the orange one. The events? The events, yeah, yeah. The events. I couldn't see it over the thousand. <laughs> to say anything. <laughs> So yeah, we want we want to. We need a when click. So you know, a when click with the flag and it says when clicked, and when you click this, it does something. Yeah. Mm. Wee. Bring the camera down a bit, so you're a bit more visible. Because you're so tall. I know I'm so tall. <laughs> right. Okay. So after that, we want to switch it to gift, don't we? We want to always start with a picture of the gift. Mm -hmm. So that's a look, isn't it? Okay, so midway down there, can you see it? Um, yep. Uh, yep. We need a switch costume to whatever that thing's called. Well, that says Crystal B. So that's that's because of moment. Crystal A. Yeah, but the moment you've only got Crystal B. But anyway, it's because you've currently got Crystal B showing, so it defaults to showing that one. So stick that over on the window. And we need we need whatever gift look you're using some. Gift A is the normal look, or Gift B is the other look. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The, the blue box, blue, blue, blue gift, wasn't it? Ah, came to speak. Cool. So we've got. Wow, it, so, he's not English. <laughs> so we've got it. So it switches the costume. Uh -huh. So we then wanted to wait a couple of seconds to show the crystal, and then show the box again, don't we? Yeah. So do we want to stick a wait in there? So that's a control, isn't it? Sure, it's in the orange looking tab. Yeah. So, uh, so stick a wait in. Up top. Oh. Oh, apologies about sneeze. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to try and mute <laughs> so you didn't hear your, like, your loud sneeze. Okay, so, so how many seconds? Well, say one second, yeah. Yeah, sure. And then we um, want to okay. change the costume to look like a crystal, don't we? We need a purple again. Yep. So under looks, the purple one. Oh. So you want to stick in a switch to? Yes, yeah, so do that because remember people can see your cursor going crazy on there. I know, I like it. Yeah, I know, but it doesn't help other people trying to follow along. Sorry. <laughs> so switch costume to and stick that underneath the weight. Yeah. And uh, we want that to be the crystal, which is already pre picked for us, isn't it? Because it's here. Yep. So again, you might have to change it if yours isn't defaulted to that. And then we need another weight, don't we? Sure. Yep. So under controls again. I think I'm about to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> that, that was not what you're supposed to do. I'm doing a move I like to call the dad. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cheeky. Okay, and we want one more switch to switch back to a gift. And I think we have a question on there I need to have a look at in a sec. So. So back to looks for a second. Oh, so I wasn't about to see. All right, so switch costume. And we'll change yeah. it back to the gift, don't we? Left. About four down from the top. Yep, yeah, that one. Pull that across, yeah. Cool. And then switch that to gift B, don't we? So it's back to what it started like. Cool. Do you want to run that and see what it looks like? Sure. Uh... Hit the green flag, yeah. So we had box, crystal, box. That's uh, not a bad start. And then make it go make up pink. Okay, so see if we can zoom that in a little bit to make that a little bit clearer. So yeah, so hopefully everyone's had a, a good chance to sort of follow along. If not, don't worry, we're not going to race off too quickly. Then so I'm going to have a drink. Oh, have a drink. <laughs> Rest your voice. So yeah, so as a recap, get rid of Scratch Cat. There's nothing in here. Okay, well you fill it up. So yeah, we want to get rid of Scratch Cat and we want to add a gift or whatever icon you like. On there, under costumes, you need to add in a new costume for Crystal or whatever item you want it to be. So you should have at least... Can you put a baby dragon in there? Let's just leave it as it is for now. Let's not confuse Aww. things. Right, it and then back... so cool. 
And then on the code for the gift, we need a when flag clicked, switch costume to and let the gift you want, wait for a second, switch it to the crystal. My dad's arm. Wait two seconds, <laughs> switch back to the gift. Okay, so hopefully that's, oh, okay, then let me move there. So, and yeah, again, if we click that, so it still works, haven't broken anything. Wow, that's the first time you haven't done that. Okay, so someone's saying they have a bit of a problem moment. Um, so on your cost, so the person's saying that they've got two gifts and one crystal, but doesn't allow switching costume between gift and crystal. So mm -hmm. make sure you've only got the one gift over here on the right hand side. And in there under costumes, you should, if by default, you'll have gift A and gift B. You can use YV1 and Yeah. And then hopefully your crystal on there. So as long as they're on the left hand side here, they're, they're counted as costumes so that you should be able to switch between them. So then on your code here, you'll have, when you switch costume two, you should have an options to see those three that we have in our example there. So I'm hoping that helps. If not, cool. And I'm saying thanks. That means that hopefully we've given a, a good overview. You've done something good for once, Dad. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. <laughs> cool. So I hope everyone's had a chance to get up to speed. If not, let us know. We'll try and help you. But should we move on to the next stage? Yeah, sure. Okay, so if you're on the web browser like we are, you'll see up here there's a save now button. So you can click that to save a project. Yeah, just simple quick and mm, done. done. Although I think it's going to be called Untitled 7 because we haven't changed the name. I only changed the name. Okay, well, let's not throw too much. Aww. Right, we, we've, do, we've done like the really, really, really simple parts. We're going to start moving on to the next part and making it harder and harder, don't we? Yeah. And we've only got a little bit of time to do this. <laughs> right, so move on to the next one, shall we? Sure, but I use the mouse. I, I'm the leader of the mouse. That's all right. I'm just moving the questions around so I can see the questions while you're working. I multitask. I multitask better than you. Cool. Right. There we go. So we want the gift box to move, don't we? Uh, oh, that was a quick. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, first we need. Wait, we want this to move. Yes. So we need a motion control, don't we? Which is the blue one. Yep. It's called motion. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to click. Okay, so what we want in here is we want it to go to a position, don't we, at the start? Because we want the box to start in a certain place, don't we? My mouse is a hand. <laughs> yep. Well, remember again, people are following you where you're clicking. Sorry, so. sorry, sorry. <laughs> so we want to go to X and Y, don't we? Click. Yep, so click, click that click. and drag that between click. the click. when click. flag clicked and switch costume. Yep, yeah. perfect. And so we want we minus one. It. Yep, so minus 150. And we Don't want ask how we know. Because <laughs> the instructions say so, and it's a nice centering point. Some <laughs> Thank you, Chicken. Okay. Ow. Right, so in here, we've now got set to go to 150, minus 150, zero. I think. So when you click the start now, you see it suddenly, hopefully, spring into the right position. Oh. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Someone's asking about how they get crystal in the costume, so we'll just quickly flip back to that. So under costumes here, on the bottom left, you've got choose a costume and then a search here you can use. Click on the search and then type in crystal and choose what you want. Oh, cries in your case. Well, I was just typing in enough to get to crystal to appear. This is, I, okay. I was about to say this is a <laughs> crystal, but okay. Moving on. Yep. Well, no, it's just helping out because if people get stuck, then they have trouble keeping up with us. So, right. So, what we want now is we're going to use a broadcast. And this is something that you may have come across in some previous scratches, but may. may well, to be fair, this is like meant to be an introductory to it. So, may. 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 Okay. so <laughs> what we want to do is under the events mm. section, so that's the yellow one. Mm. And what we want to do is a broadcast message and wait. If I can find that, then we can continue on. So it's down at the bottom of that section. Keep going, keep going, keep going. One more. Broadcast and wait. Yep, we want that. My little hand. Cool. Yeah. All right, so stick that on after give costume. That's switching to B. The very bottom, very bottom, very bottom, very bottom. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Because I was thinking over here. Uh, uh, yep, technically yep. the same thing. Like I said, when you're doing that, remember people watching what you're doing. Oh, 
we, but I'm not allowed to have a little fun. <laughs> you can have a little fun, but just remember people are following along what you're doing. You're not being fun. Definitely gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. 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 So on here, we've got broadcast message and wait. So we're gonna change this and give us a name that's a bit more useful, aren't we? This time I'm typing. Okay, cool. So we're gonna call this new message. And we're gonna well, call we just... this. Should we call it move? Why? Because when what we want is when this bit hits, we then want all the boxes to start moving around, don't we? Okay, I can type. You, move. You want to do move like that? You can. <laughs> no. See <you> like that. <laughs> right. So what we want now is we move this over here a bit. So we want to say that when this give, when the broadcast move happens, we then want it to do some actions. Why did I make it look like that? So do you want to grab a when I receive clock? Where? Uh, it's literally that one there, about two up from the bottom of the events. No, no, one down, that one. Oh, I get where? Just stick it next to it. Um, no, no. Go on. Go on. Remember, people listening, following along, I need to get rid of that message. I uh, don't want that at the moment. So when I receive, I'm going to change that from message one to move with your specials. <laughs> Capitalization. <laughs> right. So what we want to do is we then want this to do an action of movement, don't we? Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we want a repeat block. Should we do that? Sure. Where is it? Uh, under control. Where is it? Literally just under your cursor. <laughs> cool. So repeat 10 times. Yeah. What, on here? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we want to glide around the. Wait, so we want to keep it ten. Yep, keep it ten. Ten's okay. perfect. So we want motion. You right? Full on. <laughs> Is this like the uh, not sneezing sneezing show? <laughs> yeah, try not to sneeze. Yeah. Cool. So we want a glide for a number of seconds to a random position. Uh, this. Yep. So that's perfect. Let's Maybe. stick that inside the repeat block. Okay. And that perfectly works. So if we now hit the green flag, we should see that randomly move after it does its little. Show crystal, hide crystal trick. Dead and I didn't click yeah. it properly. So crystal shows, crystal hides, and crystal runs around the screen. Cool. Mm. Mm. I'm in Minecraft religion now. Mm. <laughs> Brilliant. Mm. Cool. So hopefully people have been able to keep up with us. If not, let us know and we'll give you a bit more time. See, the most important thing here is because we've got this go to X and Y coordinates here, and even though the box is stopped at the top of the screen, when we hit the start, it moves back to where we need it. No, the most important thing is to save, which we... Can't. Well, it, it'll auto save once you've saved once most of the time for you. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's good, because if suddenly you lost internet connection, you wouldn't lose your work, would you? But then that would stop the stream, wouldn't it? It would, but I'm all meant for people doing stuff and following along. Um... But then wouldn't they have to s s s s <laughs> Okay, like Oh someone's asking for more time. Oh yep, yeah, sure, we'll give it more time. See I can see well, stuff. I, I was keeping an eye on the, the messages. No, you would you would have known. You would have known. <laughs> Sometimes I think you're hard work, little one. <laughs> Why don't you try and you fail on the next dream? <laughs> I suppose what you could do, Olivia, while giving people a little bit more time, is tell one of your uh, well-known jokes. Oh, Dad, you're going to regret, regret this idea. Oh, I know I am. <laughs> I apologize uh, in advance to everyone else. <laughs> um, hmm, 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 hmm. Ow, that's my nose. <laughs> um, uh, what do clowns do on their birthdays, Dad? What do clams do on their birthdays? I've mm. told this joke before. Doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> Even though I've told the answer before. I don't know. What do clams do on their birthdays? Shallabray. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, what do you get when you cross a fish with a kitten? Catfish? Piranha. Piranha. Oh. <laughs> That joke is so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, <laughs> save your breaks for uh, save your save your jokes for the next break. So hopefully that's given people enough time. Oh, one more, please. Well, right, one quick more. Okay, how do the hammerhead sharks do on what 
how did the hammerhead sharks do on the her test shark? No, no. I didn't quite get the joke. What was it? Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be the answer. How did the hammerhead shark do on her test? Oh, okay. Um. She nailed it. Um. Yeah. Cool. Right. Okay, okay. Good. Right. My mouse. All right, looks like people have caught up, so let's move on, shall we? Right. So, if we're having a game where you've got to guess where the crystal's hidden, one box is not enough, is it? We need some uh, more. I mean, then you would win it all the time, I guess? Exactly. So, what we're going to do is, is add a... still a game? So, we're going to add another gift box, don't we? Sure. Yeah, so shall we do that? So, on the bottom right, you want to click the new sprite, don't we? Oh, okay. Yeah, so add a sprite. Yep, so it's the same little yep. cat guy with no arm, uh, no eyes, that's my nightmare. <laughs> um, and we go to the little magnifying glass to see if he has yep. eyes. So yeah, choose it. All right. <laughs> so if you click in the search, I'll type in the words. Oh, whoa, he does have eyes. <laughs> you want to use the same gift box as earlier? Whee, this one. Yep. So it's Which I, whoa. No, don't, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Slowly. Okay, right. So, do we want to change the size of that one because it's a bit small? Uh, they right. look the same. No, right. <laughs> right. So, make sure you stay clicked on the gift too as well. Okay. So it's size one hundred. You need to you need to put it to one hundred and fifty, so then it can take over the world with presents. I'm not sure about taking over the world, but yeah. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, so staying on gift two, if you've changed the costume like Olivia has, you probably want to switch it so it's the same costume. You can either do that in code uh, or do that via clicking the costume tab. Otherwise, if you keep the um, crystal one in a different costume, everyone's going to know that that's the crystal one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, if, you, if you've done like Olivia, oh. make sure you gift two, click on costumes, and then just click gift B. My name's Olivia. You didn't say that at the start. I didn't introduce myself either. This dude here is called Steven. <laughs> Steven, just Steven. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we need to move on because otherwise at this point we're not going to finish this in time. This is Steven's. All right, so what we want to do is on gift two we want to add an event to say that when the flag is clicked we want this to go into the middle. I can't stop smiling. Well, that's good. <laughs> so go to XY, stick it on here. So we want that to be I'm zero, zero. I'm in charge of the mouse. Sorry, I'm just, doing, I'm just doing this bit quickly so that people can have a chance to do it quickly as well. So yeah, so under events, mm -hmm. when flag is clicked, we want that there. And then under motion, we want a go to X, go to Y, set to zero, zero. So now when we click flag, you should see the nicely lined up in a row. I've got a ship, a great ship, a great ship. But there's one problem. Yeah. Other box doesn't. The box doesn't move. Right, well, we can fix that. So, what we want to do. And try so hard. <laughs> so, we want to add in an event there to say that when the broadcast move happens, what start moving. In the gift two. In gift two, yes. So, stay on gift two. Event? Yep. Whoa, a new event is happening. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so when. When clicked? No, not when clicked. We want the. Uh, when I receive. Yes. Okay, it'll only take me 200 years. To Third from the bottom. It. Yeah, when I receive well, move, yeah. So take that across. Don't put it on top of that and don't try and confuse people. <laughs> so when I receive move, so make sure that's set to the same one as your uh, raised event. For me, it's the weird capitalized move. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we want to do is same as the other gift box, don't we? We'll want it to repeat 10 times and glide to a random position, don't we? Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Go on. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where so is under it? control. Uh -huh. Control, orange. Oh. Yeah. So we want a repeat ten times. What yeah. here? Yep. Like we have the other game. Yeah, don't don't click, just confuse. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> we try not to confuse people, but yes. So it's the same as the other one. So when I receive move, repeat ten times, and then we want motion and we want glide for a number of seconds to random position. My mouse. Sorry, well you can click the play button now. Show yeah. people what's working. So now we should see the reveal. It should be like this. There we go. So it's all moving around. So if my chair's a bit squeaky. It, I think Zoom cares most of the sound effects. Too. Nice. Cool. I can do this all the day. Don't have to, though. No. 
Right, so what we want to do is we want to use a variable here, don't we? Because we want to change the speed and be able to mess around with it if we make it faster or slower to make it harder, right, so don't I can, we? So I can do this. Yeah. Shall I take over or are you, you doing this bit? I'm doing this Cool, part. all right, so we want to create a variable, don't we? Uh, so under variables, yeah. yep. And we want to create a brand new variable. So click make a variable and we're going to call this speed. Weird capitalization again. <laughs> Make sure that you've clicked for all sprites if it's not already pre clicked. Yeah. Because so if you click this, it's only going to do it for one. If you click all of these, it's going to do that for every single sprite in the world. Which is what we want. So, yeah. yeah. So make sure it's on for all sprites. Cool. And click OK, not cancel. Yeah. Please, please. <laughs> okay. So, what we want to do is we want to take that speed variable, <laughs> take the speed variable okay. and put that in where it says glide for one second, don't we? Yep. So make sure it's highlighted with white around it. Yep. So you know that's going to be put in there. Cool. <laughs> Brilliant. So now we want to do that to a the other gift box, don't we? Sure. Yep. So you want to click on the first gift. Please, click. Right. Please, and please. so you want to take that speed variable. Up, oh, don't. Oh. No, you're right. It's on that one. No, no, you're right. Oh, don't. Yeah. Right. <sighs> so stay on variables. Click on speed. Uh, yeah, the weird capitalization. Yep. Stick that in where it says glide one second to. Yeah. Uh, make sure it's highlighted again, cool. otherwise you'll be picking it up and swapping it and yeah. blah, 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 blah. Blah, Right, blah, so importantly at the moment, our speed variable is set to zero. So if you were to run this, nothing would move. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, apologies. It would take zero seconds, so it would move instantaneously. So actually it's even worse. Um, <laughs> That's even faster than 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah. Uh, sorry, 0 0.1. Yeah. Always saying move everything for no seconds to a random position. They're just going to... Teleport. Really? Did yes. it teleport? It, it teleported effectively, yes. See? Okay. Okay, so what we will do is we want to set the speed variable to a sensible value, don't we? Okay. So Ow. under variables, can you see where it says set my variable to zero? Underneath speed on the left. Yep. So grab that and stick that over on the when flag is clicked. You mean speed yeah. either. Yeah. So you want to put it, we want to put that with the when flag is clicked. Uh, like under here? Yep. Okay. Cool. And we'll change that set to, instead of being my variable, we want to call it the speed variable. You mean speed yeah. e d. Yep. <laughs> and change that to, and we'll set that to a value of one. So it's back to what we had previously. So it's not impossible to run. Let's see what's going on. Well, that's still quite fast, 0 0.1, isn't it? Should we just set it for one for the moment so people can Fine. see? Besides, it also gives people a chance to catch up. Fine. So hopefully, if you've got your speed variable set and you've been used here and set here. So I need the, some yeah, catching up. I know, that's what I was literally just saying. To you. Oh, see, I can see yeah. stuff that okay. you can't. No, that's why I said about we're going to stop for a second, let people catch up. So. And have Friday. You can in a minute. So yeah, so now if we click the flag, you should hopefully see that we've now got it moving again at the sensible, you can actually follow it, not instantaneous move. I mean, it kind of did look, look like a little slow move for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I just love it comes up everywhere. Yeah. Well, you, you did call it that variable name, spelling of speed, so. <laughs> you mean speed. <laughs> Here are some more jokes. Not some more jokes. But anyone? 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 <laughs> let take later one joke where we'll let people have a chance to catch up. Yeah. Okay. More jokes. A hundred jokes. Maybe. So, so hopefully at this point, on GIF two, you show the code of flag clicked, go to zero zero. And when I receive, move, repeat 10 times, glide speed, seconds to random position. So that's that's GIF 2. And on GIF 1, you'll have your original code with the new set speed to and then a value that you're happy with. The higher the number, the slower. And zero will make it instantaneous. So good luck to you following that one. <laughs> and again, same here. When I receive, move, make sure you've got the glide speed set. I've got the glide perfect. speed seconds to random position. I've got the perfect joke. All right. Okay. One joke, yeah. Hmm. Well, because we, we've got to keep moving. We can't we can't stay paused forever, I'm afraid. Okay. Um 
What is a frog's favourite drink? Is it Ribena? Croke a cola. Oh. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. I came up with that one. I didn't see it in that dope book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, Dad, I've got a knock knock. Oh, save it for a minute. Oh. Right, someone's asking to have a look at Gift 2's code. So this is Gift 2's code here. It's quite quick. It's quite, quite lean, isn't it? So. Okay. Please leave. All right. Well, quickly, the knock knock joke then. Okay. Knock knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in. It's cold out here. But a bunch. Terrible. <laughs> no, not no. moment. Maybe at the end. No. <laughs> let's not. Let's not cause complications in the demo. In the demo, we've well, done this before. I know, but we're demoing it to other people. They're they're following along with us. Remember. Ah. Okay, so hopefully that's given people a chance to catch up. So what we want to do now is we want to actually see, because when the boxes are moving around, we don't know which one's got the crystal. So we want to find out, don't we? Sure, why not? Okay, so on gift one, or gift, I should say, yeah. we want to add in, I'll move this out of the way for a moment. So what we want to do is we want to add in a when clicked. Yeah? Sure. So under events. Where? Events. Oh, a nice event is happening. Yep. And so, I feel like I'm going to so when, when, when this sprite is clicked. So it's the third from the top. Yep. yep. Okay, so we want this to say that when you click on it, it goes, yes, you've got the right one. Sure. So do you remember where say is under? Mm. Under looks, isn't it? I mean, you don't technically say something and it looks like it's on you. I mean, no, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so what you want to do is we want to say, have use the say block, which is the second from top. This one. Yep. Cool. Uh, what, this one? Yep, just there. Cool. Click. And we want to say yes, because we've got it right. Should I type yes? Me, 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 me. We're determined to do this whole. <laughs> we want to question that, do you? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> cool. Right, so we want to then also change the crystal, don't we? So you can see that you've got the right one, don't we? Sure. So you want to switch costume? Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> and the switch costume, it's the fourth from the top. Ah, uh, fifth from the top, even. Yep, stick that underneath the yes. <laughs> you mean right, calm down, breathe. <laughs> okay, and we want to switch the costume and whatever your crystal or other item is. So yeah, for us it's nicely defaulted to crystal B, which is perfect. Sure. And what we want to do is that when you click GIF 2, we want it to say no. So should we do that? Okay. So shall I do this one or you want to do this one? <laughs> okay, cool. So let's move these over here so they're nicely out of the way. So we want an event and we want when sprite is clicked. Yep, and then we want a look. Purple. And we want to say no for a second. What, here or? Uh, for oh. a second or two, yeah. Okay, what's first? Make it a second if you want. Make it two seconds if you want, I don't mind. Yeah, and just give it 12 seconds. Cool. Sorry. It's a bit of a long time. <laughs> Sorry. Cool, and we want it to say no or something. Are you typing in your random spellings of no, uh, random capitalizations? <laughs> I have to make it too crazy, but yeah, so okay, that'll <laughs> Right, and then we want to hide so it disappears off screen, don't we? Sure. So down here, these two little guys trying to hide from me. Yeah. Um, um, so we need hide. to hide. Yep. So when you click them, they go really big, like they want to be spotted. Big? I think they're big. They do, they get bigger. Look. Oh, when well, you move them across. Oh, I'll get you. Okay. Sorry. So they get bigger. Okay, okay. Let's not have that many hides, though, shall we? Aww. Let's pull them off and get rid of them for the moment. So I'm hoping that was not our door. Pretty sure it's next door. Right. Yeah, it was. All right. So now when we start the game, if we click it, if, now at the moment, if you click on it, let's show you. Oh, it says no. And oh, it says yes. Now that is cheating, Daddy. How dare you? No. Okay. So he, 
<laughs> so he clicked on them before they even stopped. That is cheating. It is, but there's another problem as well. If you click the green flag, watch what happens now. Gift 2 doesn't appear. Aww, so, that's not a proper game anymore. It's not much of a game, is it? So shall we fix no, these problems? I just cheated. <laughs> Bye, I got banned. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do is on this gift 2, which we're still on, we need to say that when we start the game to show it again, don't we? Sure. So after the go to zero zero, shall we stick in a show? Wait, where? <laughs> so we need a show and then you need to go under the when flag is clicked, go to X zero zero. Close. No, show, show, not high. Oh, that, high. <laughs> that won't solve our problem, that will just keep it there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So now we're saying that when we click this, the flag, it should appear. Like that. Perfect. But it's still cheating. You're still cheating, yes. I'm a cheater. Although interestingly how you cheated then, it's managed to uh, then a turn back into the box because of your timing. Well, I think we have um, got another problem. Okay. Yeah. You okay, Dad? Yeah, I was just about updating the, uh, the questions or the smiley faces in the case of one of them. <laughs> right, so what we want to do is we want to say that basically if the game's currently running, don't let somebody cheat and click and reveal the answer, do we? And and make sure they get banned. No, we don't want about banning. <laughs> okay, so what we do need to do then is we need to put in a new another variable, don't we? Called something weird capitalizations. Should we call it finished? Okay, but I'm putting in my weird capitalizations again. Right, so new variable. So make a variable. Okay. <laughs> again, make sure it's set for all sprites. And don't type it like that. Mm. Maybe we'll keep the eyes in the way. Yeah. Let's not make it take too long because I don't think people will need to. Uh, you missed the end and finished. Really? Yes. Oh. I missed the other eye and finished. Hey, look, shall we just do it? Me. Let's just do it normally, no, shall we? No, please, no. <laughs> we need to we need to kind of speed no. things up a little. We're gonna run out of time at this rate. And we wait for capitalization. I know, I'm sorry. Right, so we've got a variable mm. called finished. Mm. And what we need to do is when we start the game, we want it to be set to false. Mm. So because we haven't finished the game, we've just started, don't we? <laughs> so on gift one, we need to say that. Like we've got the set speed to one, we want to see set. It means speed. Yeah, I don't know why. Set speed <laughs> to one. We want speed. to say set finished to, and we will call set this to false. That's not how we type false, by the way. It is how you type false. F A L S E. No, you put a um. Oh, I may have mishit something, and I just yeah, I hadn't finished. Okay. Uh, so someone's just asked what the second variable is called. It's called finished, and thankfully this time it's in the correct capitalization. Mm, my weird capitalizations was great. I know, but it also made it confusing and you kind of misspelled it. And let's just. Yeah, it was purpose like that. If you say so. Right. It was purpose. Okay. It was purpose. So set finish to false is what we need on it gift. It's porpoise. Porpoise, very good. So on <laughs> gift one, set finish to false. And then what we want to do is after we've done the broadcast, the move and wait, we then need to set it to true because it's then finished. There it is. So if we add that down here, and instead of zero, we put in true. Weird capitalizations. No, we don't want to do that one. Weird capitalizations right. win. So yeah, so when we start the game, now it'll be set to false, and then when the finish moving is set to true, which is great. But then that still doesn't fix our problem. So what we need to do is under uh, control, we need to add an if then block here. And do you want to do this next bit? My mouse, my world. All right. So we're going to add this on here, and if you do it just right, you should hopefully see those two purple blocks going top, uh, uh, go inside. Um, that doesn't look right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. It looks like you're trying to eat it all at once, like a giant um, burger. Well, um, it is because with the if then block, if the condition's true, the stuff inside. I'm trying to make it nice, but I'm joking. Now you're yeah. making it all well, boring and joking, coding. Joking, but is co boring and coding? We are coding. Oh really? Yes. Okay. Wow, coding. Okay, right. So we want now to give it a condition. Um, the condition. Condition. Okay. Condition. So we want to say that if something is equal to something. So do you remember how to do that? It's green operators we want to use. Okay, so operators. It's green yep. and it's called operators. Yeah. That's how you'd say it. 
Cool. So if you grab the uh, the equals one, which is uh, yep, that one just there, uh -huh. and stick that inside the other diamond bit. Okay. Make sure it's highlighted with white. Last time we well, practiced, and no, it didn't work. Well, it was further down the line, but yes. It didn't work. That wasn't further down the line. I, I missed it all the time. Okay. Doesn't matter. So we want to set this to true. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and in the other, on the left hand side, we need that to have the variable from earlier finished, don't we? Aww. What do we capitalizations like that? Okay. So stick that inside there. Okay, you're sound. You're making me sound like I'm going crazy. Oh, you're not going. You already are. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So now we've got it. So we're saying that once this thing is finished. You can then click it, it will say yes, and it will switch to costume. Otherwise, if you try and click it early, it won't work. But we need to do that to gift two, don't we, as well? Sure. Yeah, because I'm conscious we're going to run out of time if we're not careful. Why is this side so warm? Because the radiator is on. That's what, that's what heating does. Ah, OK. So on gift two, we need to add in the same sort of logic here. So we want to go back to control. We want the if and then block from here. Again, make sure it goes around both the purple blocks. If you do make a mistake and, for example, end up doing that, all you need to do is just disconnect. Wow, well, the person himself and can't even do it. Well, it's all fun. So, do you remember what condition you need to put in there again? Operator, sorry? Uh, I think I do. Don't tell me. Okay. Don't. Okay. Don't okay, but at least tell everyone else what it is in case they're. We need. An equal. Yep. This one that's flying around like a magic carpet. <laughs> magic carpet. carpet. Okay. okay. Uh, cool. And we want this to be the variable of finished and set to true, don't we? This time I can spell it right. Charge it up since it's a bit further from the keyboard for you. Okay. I was about to say true. Cool. All right, do you want to grab the variable? Uh, sorry, yeah, the variable. The variable? Oh, the variable, the variable. Not with capitalization. Stick it in there. Cool. Look, wait, did that just appear? You mean disappear? No, did that just Oh, it appear? appeared on screen, yeah. I don't know when it did exactly, but. I just saw something flash on the screen. Ah, OK. Right, so now if you click the green flag, hopefully. So now if you try and click them early. A, oh, you oh. managed to somehow. What did I just do? I'm not sure how you managed to restart that, but you did. Oh, wow, I think I learned something. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. There we go. So now if you click the boxes, hopefully you should be able to get the results from because the game's now in finished state. I didn't watch, I didn't see oh, it. Not be fair. Nope. I like the weird conversation though. Perfect. Yes. So that's working. Yes, were you looking for me? Yes. Yeah. With weird capitalization, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So should we give people a chance to catch up? Because that was quite a fair bit done. And we need to save. The most important thing is saving. Oh, click save now, yes, if you want to. Finally, my dreams have come true. So just as a recap, on GIF 2, we've added in this if. Wait, I just thought. It, wait, 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 can I, well, can I, I finish doing the recap? Wait, and... can I just say something, though? Well, Look, if you go on this and then you go on this, it's invisible. Yeah, because right, it changes. Okay. Oh, it just hides itself when you click it. Yeah. Mind exploded. Wow. Yeah, it's just showing you where it is on the screen at this point. So yeah, so as a recap, on GIF2, we've added in this if condition, uh, sorry, if con sorry, if control, <laughs> and then we put the operator in here of equals, we put the variable of finished, and we want to check that it's true. So if finished equals true, then, and then we want to run the code here to say no and hide. I'm yawning. And on GIF1, we had to add in the set finish to false at the top. When you look at it, there's a lot of the code. Yeah, but we're building up over time. And then down the bottom here, set finish to true. And again, over here, we've got the same logic as the other one, which is the if finished equals true, then and then run this bit here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's asked, why did you get into coding? Um, I personally got into coding because when I was a kid, one of my teachers was showing us stuff you could do. And this is showing my age on an Apple A, uh, Apple two E, which. Wow, you are old. Thank you. <laughs> it was ninety five. No, ninety. Yeah, no, oh, but. that is oh, that, and we <laughs> have we have put on screen an old tube. <laughs> an old what? An old old guy. An old guy. Thanks, lovely. <laughs> so yeah, 
and I must admit, I like the old idea of being able to program and make things appear on screen. Although it wasn't as easy or fun as Scratch, but definitely got there. Oh, I think that's where it comes in as in an age years old. Thank you for emphasizing old. <laughs> And Olivia gets a coding because it means she gets out of doing other bits of schoolwork, I swear. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Owen? Uh, yes, yeah, so kind of the same reason as you. Um, one of my teachers kind of introduced coding to our school, so I started from there. Um, and then when I got to GCSE level, we started doing uh, computer science GCSE, so started from there and just carried on all the way through. Okay, one thing, mm -hmm. you can tell this guy's old because he just tried to pick up his glass of water and instead whacked his hand on the desk. I was not paying attention, I'm, <laughs> I'm multitasking here. Uh, somebody's asking to see the gift code, <laughs> code for gift two. So yes, that's not a problem. So there's gift two there for you. Mm -hmm. um, okay, oh. emails from your school. Cool. I'm doing work. I know you're doing work. I, I think you get out of having to worry about doing computing work at the moment since you are teaching others how to code. So it's technically I am the TA. This guy is the old teacher. The old teacher. I'm sure you said that to your teacher that she's old. She's not old. Well, that you told me old. She's <laughs> younger than you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Well, while we're here on gift two, what we want to do is it's not much of a game with just two gifts. So if we just quickly click start. start. I mean, it, it technically is. Mm. I mean, you play this. Yeah. It's like a duty old game. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's should we do the next? Okay. Should we do the next step? Because yeah. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that. All right. Stop hacking the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hacking. Promise. I won't get back. <laughs> right. So what we want to do now is get some scissors and chop your arm off. Right, we want some more gifts, but also at the moment we've got a slight problem. The gifts sometimes will end up off the edge of the screen slightly or on top of each other, don't they? And that means that if you're trying to click the right one that's underneath, then you might get it wrong. Exactly. Well, but the wrong one's on top of the... So what we'll do is, and I'll need to move these around because we need a bit more space, so we move them up here. So this is on gift one. What we want to say is if the gifts are not touching each other, sorry, if they're touching each other or on the edge of the screen, keep moving to get out of the way, don't we? This one, if you have done this whole thing muted. No, we're not muted. Well, we are muted. we muted, guys? No, they know we're not muted because they can hear us. We already checked that, remember? Can you hear us? <laughs> right. What we want to do is we want to say that once it finishes moving around the random places, that if it is still on top of each other or near to the screen, move a little bit more. So I'm the mouse girl. All right, we'll take over. So we want to repeat until Pin and stick that on the bottom there. Repeat until unicorn. Yes. Well, we don't have time at this right. Sorry. Is, is, am I not allowed to have a little fun? Yes, you can have a little fun. But we're just going to run out of time. We've only got about 10 minutes left. You're so boring. I know. Okay, so what do we need to do? What do we need so to do? So repeat until, and then we want a not operator. Where? So under the green. Blop. In there, there should be a block that says not, which is about halfway down. Yep. Hello, not. Yep, stick that in there. Make sure it's uh, highlighted right. Cool. All right, and I'm not scroll down the instructions slightly. Uh, let's scroll up a little bit so I can still see. Right. So what we want to do is we're going to use we're going to use the colours to say that if two colours are touching to move, won't we? It's like if at the end it's about to touch colours, then it needs to move a little bit more to get it enough. Yep. So if we go under sensing, which is the light blue. Uh, water kind of colour blue. Yeah, or teal, probably technically. Uh, we want to say touching colour. Touching colour, touching colour. Colour touching top. is colour? No, second top. Oh, second here? from top. Oh, that here. one, yep. Stick that in. Me, me. What, here? Into the knot. Yep. Oh, make sure it's highlighted white. Yep. And so what we need to do is need to make sure that that's the colour of your. Can I talk more? Yep. <laughs> so we need to make sure it's, it's the same colour as the presence, otherwise it's going to, you know, touch and keep, that, you know, being stuck together because it's not the right colour, because there's no colour of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. cool. So do the ribbon's probably the best colour, so if we click on the... Sorry. Sure. 
right? And unless you're really good with your colors and you can do it by magically doing the slider and getting it just right, there's a little um, eyedropper tool down the bottom there. So if you click the eyedropper. Who said you were talking? Yes, boss. Yeah. So yeah, there's this little dropper here and it will only highlight that part of it because that's what you really need to dress the color. So gray or blue, gray or blue. Do the gray, gray because there's more of it around. It's easier. No, there's not. It's more blue. No, but there's two shades of blue, if you notice. Really? Uh, actually, probably three shades. Yes. There's only two there's shades. There's three. No, still looking at that cupid, you can see it's three oh, shades. So okay. let's do the ribbon. Okay. Also, that's what the instructions say, and it works quite well when we tested. So yeah, click on that. Perfect. And now it will be like that's the same color, though. Cool. It kind of looks like a peachy kind of color. But, it looks great to me, but yeah. It's peach. Okay, so what we want to say is that is look, repeat until it's not touching gray. And what we'll do is we'll do similar to what we did before. So we want this sort of glide speed seconds to random position. So do you want to stick motion in? Where is it? Top, top blue, yep. Where is it? We want glide seconds to random position. Right here? No, go glide one second. Here. Yep, that one, perfect. Pull that across. Wait, no. why is that moving? Because you clicked on it, so it activated to show. Okay. So you stick that inside the repeat until? Burger, yeah. Right, so random position is fine. We want to change that glide seconds. We want to change that to be speed. No, no, we need the variable. Oh. Um, so, and the variables? Yeah, weird kind of speed. I love it. It's a weird capitalization. Cool. Make sure it's highlighted. Yeah. Right, I so keep saying that. on. It must get annoying. Okay, so on GIF2, we want to do the same code again. So, should we quickly do that? Sure. Shall I do it quickly so we can just get that on screen for everyone? So under sure, control, Mr. Talky Pants. repeat until. I'm narrating. Oh, sorry, I'll move here. Sorry, we'll move here. I'm narrating. Yes, boss. So yeah. So when I receive move, repeat 10, repeat. Sorry, I'll let you narrate. OK, what do we need to do? <laughs> Operator, <laughs> do you want not? And we need to go to sensing and do touching by color and i know you're trying to highlight them so i don't stutter like this is <laughs> you need to touch the ribbon color ribbon color and you need to go to motion and a glide one seconds to random location which you can and then you need to go to variable variable variables Yes, variable and change it to speed. <laughs> cool. So if we run that now, I'll give everyone a chance to make sure they've got their code for that bit. You know what that means. Well, we're going to possibly have to wrap up in a sec. Okay. One joke, one joke. Well, just this way a sec, because see, hopefully now we should see one of them stop and then, oh, so in that case, they didn't actually land on each other. That's good, I guess. Well, yeah, it also makes it harder to. Test that works, but yes. Okay, so what do we need to do now? What do we need to do now? Well, assuming we've got that all right, which Ooh, yeah, that's cool. Well, what we also need to make sure is it's not on the edge of the screen, don't we? Yeah. So shall we add another bit of logic in the repeat until? Which one? Gift one or gift? Oh, two? we need to do both anyway, so it doesn't matter which one you'll start with. Gift one. Okay. Because that one has less space and harder. Okay, so we need a and bit from the operators, don't we? Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, under operators, you want and. And where do we put it? And uh, remember what we had last time. So if you leave that on the side there for a second. All right, and then what we want to do. Wait, which one do we need to put it on? Uh, we need to put it in the repeat until. So what we need to do, and this makes it easier, mm -hmm. take the knot out from there first. Okay, because when we tried it before, it just kept pushing it out and then bringing it back in, and uh, it didn't work. So yeah. So if you... so to easily do it, uh, get the knot and the touching colours out. Highlight the box to the left. Yep. And basically, it'll make it a big giant side. Yep. And then you can put it back in. Perfect. I remember stuff, yep. not like your old brain. All right. Come on. Right. So, we want to grab another knot block. No, not. And you'll stick that in the right hand side. So, 
So it says not touching colour and not. Wait, what? So this is the logic we're running, and I'll explain it all in a second. Okay, so if you go up to uh, sensing again, and we want to say touching the edge. Where? So sensing, and then we want touching, so where it says mouse pointer for the moment. Yep, drag that in to where it says not. Here. Yep, and Make change. sure it's highlighted. Yep. Also, change. you might want to move this so it's not off the screen like we have. Yep. It's quite long. So yeah, so instead of mouse pointer, we want that to be edge of screen, or edge, I should say. Edge. That's a pretty colour. I mean, yeah. it, it's pretty kind of look. Yeah. It's pretty so we need to do the exact same thing on GIF 2. So if we quickly do that. Okay. Yeah, so GIF 2. GIF 3. Sorry. GIF 2. So we need operators again. We want the and. Oh, is it where it's the two above you. The two, they are oh. not touching, so pull that in there. Oh, no, that's where you will grab the and part. It's easier. Oh, uh, yeah. Because there's more to grab. There we go. And so, don't do like I did. Okay, and we need another not block. Not, 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 not. Yep. And then we want the sensing. And um, sensing one below. And then we want touching mouse pointer. Yep. I'm going and to change that to sonic H. speed. I'm going to cool. Sonic so what we're doing is we're saying repeat until it's not touching the grey colour of the ribbon and it's not touching the edge of the screen. Nice. So if it's touching either of those two, we want to randomly move to a random position for a couple of seconds. And then hopefully, then we should be able to add in the third gift and then we might have to call it a day, I'm afraid. Don't think you get to show off your dragon. No! Okay, so what we'll do, Someone's asking us to show gift one, so we'll quickly show that. I'm the message person. Yes, boss. Yeah, I get to see your messages. Yeah. Right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So, again, the, the part we've added on here is the not touching colour of the ribbon and not touching... Not as much as we did before. ...the edge. So I'm going to have to sneak past you, Dad. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, you're getting close now. I thought you were trying sneaky, to get out. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I okay. need a pen. Sneaky, oh. sneaky, sneaky. Continue. Yes, boss. <laughs> Continue. So what we want to do is we want to add a third box now, since we've done a lot of work here. And we had three boxes at the start, didn't we? So on gift Wait, two. Wait, what? We didn't have three boxes at the start. Oh. On the example we showed. Oh, yeah. So on gift two, if you right click, or I believe on an iPad, it's press and hold. Um, and then you will say duplicate. I'm. What? I was about to say I'm clicking it. Oh, now you deserve this poster note on your head forever. Thank you, Cheeky. Wait, say... but everyone right. has to see what it looks like. Uh, no, I can Oh, actually... thank you. <laughs> cool. So now we've got a duplicate of gift three, and that means we've got the same looks and same code. So that if we run this. But uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Well, because we need to wrap up, so. Okay, so if we do it, but it's it's underneath. It's it's underneath. Yeah. I yeah. just changed it so everyone can see. I need to. Oh, what are you gonna say? <laughs> um. Yeah, I just started moving to get stuff out of position. Right. Yeah. So. So. Give three. You want to? Oh. I am lucky, but you can't mm. see it underneath. No. Oh, what? What? Well, you are clicking dragging oh, yeah. stuff on the screen there. It does, yeah. Oh, okay, anyway. Right, so on gift we... three, what we need to do is we don't want to start on top of the other box, do we? So it's got all the same code, but at the same starting point, yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is, I believe, we need to change the X coordinate to 150. That should mean now when we click start, we now have them three nicely in a row there. And that has very nicely taken us up to the sixth step with adding a distraction. Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to... No, we can do it super quickly. Mm. We can do it sonic speed. You reckon you can. All right. This is the last step, I suppose, technically. So if people do want to leave, we do apologise for overrunning slightly. But if you do want to finish off this, keep watching. So we'll be here for a few more minutes then. We're doing it super sonic speed. Not the super sonic speed. Da -na -na. Right. What we need to do is add a distraction sprite. So do you want to add another sprite? <laughs> 
So in your example, you used a dragon, didn't you? Are we using a dragon again? I mean, there wasn't a wolf, so yeah. Yeah. So here oh, you can add whatever. You use cheese puffs. Yeah. <laughs> no dragon. Uh, so yeah, so here just choose whatever sprite you like. My sadness, my sadness. <laughs> that is creepy. Okay, well just just choose a sprite. <laughs> and no. Uh, Don't. What? Don't. What'd you do? Don't worry. You? Don't worry. Right. <laughs> we need to add some code onto our dragon. For the moment, yep. yep. Come on. People want to finish this. We need to kind of get on because you've got to get sorted and get yourself ready as well. Right. So under code, are oh, you doing that dragon? Yeah. Okay. I, I love that dragon. Also, this is a bit. Uh, well, big. well, you can change the size if you want to. What, what, what should you do? Well, it's a distraction. So the bigger it is, the probably more distracting, isn't it? That's good enough. Okay. Cool. So yeah, just years. just choose a sprite. Change the size as and how you want it to be. You can do anyone you want you don't have to do a dragon and you can do any size you want it doesn't have to be 78 yeah so what we're going to do is we want to add in some code so we want to say that when the flag is clicked we get all set up in the right spot okay we need always when flag quick yeah so one. stick that on so initially we want it to hide so it's not in the way so you can see where the right box is don't you sure so we want to say hide under looks uh where Looks and we want to say hide. I feel like there's less people watching. No idea. Uh, so we then want to say go to front layer. So it's on top of, so you want that to over the top of the gift. You don't want it underneath because it's going underneath the gift. It's not going to be very distracting, is it? I love when you do that. Thank you. <laughs> Although, okay. to be fair, I should have done the other way around with the camera, but you know. Either way, point is we want the dragon on top of everything else. Okay, so what should we do? So we want to say go to front layer. So you might have to scroll down. It's right at the very bottom of your list there. So yeah, up one. Go to, yep, perfect, put under hide. And then we want to wait for a couple of seconds because we don't want it appearing straight away. I hope people don't like it. Right, so under control. Where? Control. Where? Yep, and then we want to say wait four seconds. Where? At the top. <laughs> Come on, because you're going to run out of time yourself, because you've got other things you need to do as well. Like what? Oh. Yeah. I have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it was as simple as that. Right, so what we've got is when the flag is clicked, hide, go to front layout, wait four seconds. So we then need to make it do the distracting part. So we want to do a repeat until then. Distraction. Yes, yeah, so I've got one of them. <laughs> <gasps> right, so repeat, mm -hmm. repeat until. Come on, people are waiting to finish. <laughs> Repeat until. Down, yep, that, up, up, stop, stop moving around like crazy because I can't help you. A couple of people are asking about catching up. If, if you have missed anything, we will be uploading these videos onto YouTube. Wow. Yes, you'll be on YouTube again. Yeah. Um, if you really can't wait for the upload of these ones, I believe this lesson might have been taught in the first lockdown. So one of the early videos with other people presenting probably shows you. Not just us, not yeah. just us. I don't know, did we do this one? I can't remember which one we did. Uh, I know we did a lot of Python. Yeah, we did a lot of Python. Yeah. But, um... Anyway, but yeah, so they should be available on the YouTube channel. Um, I don't the have channel the link, called? I don't have the link handy. I don't know if you do, Owen. Uh, I'll just share the link uh, to the Text talk and I'll find the YouTube video as well. Ah, oh, brilliant. Thank you if you click that like button and subscribe. Yeah, you can watch it too, <laughs> YouTube people. Uh, right. So what we want to do is repeat until, and we want to say until it's finished, don't we? So, well, finished. So what we want to do is we want operator. Sure. We want equals. Sure. Um, where's equals gone? Equals is there. And we want to say that we do this until while it's um, in the finished, don't we? Because we want this to be distracting while the presents are moving. But once the presents moved, stop doing it, don't we? So repeat until finished is true. We want to set the dragon to be like in the bottom left, and we want to fly across to the top right. I mean, you can make it do other things as well, but this is sort of what we're we're doing as the instructions, and it can go crazy. And I know for some people, will. So How want... dare you highlight me as one of them people? Because you are. So what we want to do... This is Stevens, <laughs> by the way. So we want to go to, I'm going to set this to minus 280 and minus 140, which puts us in the bottom left diagonally. 
Uh, we then want the dragon to appear. So under looks, we want to Whoa, say show. Me and if you want to make yourself a bit easier, grab a high block and just stick it under here for the moment. So we don't have to go back and forth. Uh, and then back in motion, we want to glide for a number of seconds. So we'll set this to two. Oh, I do apologize. That's the wrong glide, actually. We How want, dare you, we want a the genius. Yeah. We want the glide for a number of seconds to X and Y. So we'll set that to two seconds. The higher the number, the quicker it will fly across. So depending how distracting you want your dragon or other animal slash object to be. And we want this to go to the top. Yes. We want this to go to the top right. So we want 280, 140. So because we've gone from the negative down here to the positive, that will do a nice diagonal flying. And then we want to hide because we want off it's, it's, it's flying off the screen. So if we click, so if we click start now, we should hopefully see crystal present flying around. Oh, flying dragon. Another flying dragon. I didn't I didn't see which one the crystal has in it. So I'm just gonna You know what we forgot? Dragon. We forgot to wait around a number of seconds. We what? The dragon just keeps flying constantly across. Uh, we, we missed one one bit of code. Okay. Guys, sorry. <laughs> right, so click back on the dragon. Yeah, we can't just have him going. No. So what we want to do is we want to wait for some seconds. So if we grab well, a wait. Why does it just say wait four seconds? Then why is it not working? Well, that's waiting four seconds at the start, and then it keeps, uh, as you saw, it literally just flew over and over and over. So we want wait one second here. We'll stick that at the top of the repeat until go to, so just there. And then we want it to be a random number, because if it's always the same number, you've got the same effect we just had then, where it's just literally bang, bang, bang. So what we can bang. do is we can go under operators. And distraction. And under here, there's a pick random bit. So we can pick that and stick that in for the wait seconds. And we'll say wait one to five seconds. So the dragon will randomly, will fly through, well, basically we'll wait for a one to five seconds, fly through, and then wait another one to five seconds. So it can, there'll be different gaps between dragon flights. So here we go. So we should see the dragon fly in a second. There we go. Oh, okay. it's gone. Whoa. Oh, there it comes again. Mystical, magical, wizards and witches stuff. <laughs> oh, and there are those presents. Wasn't quite the edge of the screen. There we go. And the dragon will just keep flying past, like, from, uh, press this, and, like, the dragon will fly past even if it's finished. Uh, it shouldn't do, because it's told to repeat until it's finished. So once it's finished, it should stop appearing like it has now. Cool. Uh, well, it did it one last second. Yeah, because it might have been hit the true condition to say keep flying, then it's waited maybe up to five seconds and then flown across. So you will get a slight delay. Mustache. Okay, cool. So that is pretty much it. That's... Pretty much. Well, Please. Please. Ah, second. So we'll just save that to make sure there's a copy saved. Yeah. Um, Again, we, even though we've already done this exactly, yeah. except in the no and the yes and the speed and the stuff and the stuff and the stuff and the stuff. Actually, let's do one better. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe at the end of this video. Uh, let's see if I can find. I'm sure, that'll give me the link. Oh, didn't want that plane. Stop. Bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, can I get to there? So we do have a post of, seriously, YouTube, stop playing videos. Right, so we do have a playlist of all the previous sessions we've done, but we will be doing some of these sessions again new. Um, there we go. And wow, that's that. a lot of red, and my eyes are bleeding. So that's a link to the YouTube playlist of the Kids Coding Club from last year that we did. Um, but we will be uploading these lessons, and they'll be also clearing on that list. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and comment down below. <laughs> yes, cheeky. I love doing that. I know you do. I know you do. So that is pretty much everything. So we hope you've enjoyed that. Do apologize, we've slightly overridden. Voice I can't get the voice mod to go quickly because it's currently coming through the speaker. Let's no, because seriously, people, people, yeah. Don't start messing around. We don't want to break the stream. I do. I know. I you can do. you can play with it prepared for next time, yeah? next week's lesson yeah cool no. right so yeah thank you very much for Please. joining us no. thank Please. you let me finish the thing no <laughs> thank you for joining us i hope you've enjoyed that 
Um, I once again blocked my face with messages. Only a little bit. A little bit. Oh. I have to go over here to see myself. It's a hard life, some people do. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, as I guess saying, try to say, let me finish off. Thank no. you for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. And um, hope you... If you do have any questions, we'll probably be around for a couple more minutes um, to help you out. But hopefully you've all succeeded in getting to the end. And I just created a random name. Thank you, Cheeky. Mm. So, yeah. That links down in the description. <laughs> all right, settle down. Sorry. You know what? Why do you have this much energy at the end of the day, not the start of the day? I mean, I don't know why. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah. So thank you very much for me. Don't hit the gym. Yeah, okay, let's not even try that. Um, oh, I know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, right, just... I'm going to keep this one under control. I'll say we'll probably leave the stream open for another five or six minutes, just if anyone's oh, got any queries. Uh, if not, see you next week. Have a good weekend and thank you very much. Thanks, everyone.